I'm Glenda Shawley and I'm the MD of Fabulous Networking and I am delighted to have with me today Agnes Goudron, uh, don't know about my French accent but you'll correct me I'm sure, from Agnes Organic. So welcome Agnes. Let's start by talking about your business. Tell us a little bit, just a brief overview of what your business is. Bonjour, so oh. as Glenda said, I am Agnes from Agnes Organic, and my business is a beauty and hairdressing salon in Ealing. And we are absolutely organic. We only use organic products. Um, so we do vegetable color, uh, mineral color, and waxing, facial, massage, manicure, pedicure, anything you can think of in terms of beauty, um, but only organic. That's tricky. Why did you decide to go down the organic route? Um, because like before being a beautician, I was uh, studying psychology and I was going towards more like helping people in hospital or doing something like that. And then I decided to be a beautician, but I wanted to help people. And my first job was a beautician in a hospital. So I worked for three years with people who are really ill. And obviously when you are in that stage, uh, you have enough chemical in your body. Mm -hmm. And so my, the salon I was working with was only using organic product. And when I decided to open my own things, even back then in France, and um, for me it was absolutely um, the condition to open something was to be organic. Mm -hmm. to be able to offer the best product with the best services, but like thinking about the health of my client, sustainability, uh, being good for the planet. And that was like 15 years ago. So today wow. is something like we hear almost every day. But at the time, it was really like um, a new road to go down. And, um, and I'm really happy I, I did it. Mm. But you haven't always found it easy, have you, to source the, the organic ingredients? No, and it's still not really easy, especially for vegetal color, because we are the only one in UK to do that. And, and so our supplier are French. Um, and so it's difficult to get the product, and especially with now the B <laughs> word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> without any political things but yeah it is more difficult in, but uh and obviously because we work with plants sometimes like if you work with chemical you're never going to have a shortage on anything uh, if you work with plants well you can and sometimes it happens so but i think like uh, it was a challenge because we do um things like really in, in such a different way, and it's so good, for example, for your hair or for your skin that I won't go back to um, chemical. No, no. Well, I, I have to say, I, I'm, I'm slightly reluctant to say that I'm a client of yours because I'm ready for the next haircut. And so I'm not, <laughs> we should be recording Just this fine. next week when I've been in. Um, but, you know, I, I have to say, I love it. And I have to say, your prices are very competitive too. So, you. you know, I, I'm, I'm interested to know a bit more about your, your clients and who you aim to serve. Um, well, it's interesting what you say about price, because sometimes like people will say oh, I'm on the high end of healing. And yes, I know I am not a cheap salon, but I'm not cheap salon because I don't use cheap products. Yeah. Um, I don't think, yes, I, I know I is a certain price. So my clientele, obviously, um, is more like, you know, I have a bit more money let's say, uh, and time so for the vegetal color because it's a long process, for example. So mm -hmm. you need to have a bit of time and a bit of money to come there for the vegetal color. But other than that, um, I think it's really important to know what you pay for. Yes. 
And us, we are absolutely organic. And when I say that, I mean it because I did a speech not long time ago in one of your um, networking. Yes. And so in UK, for people who don't know that, is no um, legal standards about uh, protecting the term of organic. And so you can go to hairdresser who say is organic or beautician, facial, and you will say, oh my God, they are less, uh, they are cheaper than Agnes. <laughs> well, check if they are absolutely organic and the way to do that and is to ask to see the stamp on the product they use. And I'm saying they use not the shampoo from the brand or the little cream from the end from the brand, the actual products they use on you because you have some brand or now try to be a bit organic. So you will have some stuff with a stamp yeah. like Ecoser or soil organic, but the rest won't be. So mm -hmm. us, we are maybe a bit high end, but for a really good reason. It's like we are really, really careful what we choose and what we work with. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think your prices are very reasonable for the standard that we get and for what you're using. And I appreciate it might be a little bit higher than than some in Ealing, but it's not, you know, it's not out of this world. It's 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 within you know, people who want to invest in themselves. That's, that's it. And I think our clientele, like you were talking about targeting like a clientele wise. And I think our clientele is people who want to take care of themselves. Yeah. Uh, most women, but we are really happy to welcome men. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some, not a lot, but we are really happy to have them here as well. Yeah. And it's people who want to take care of themselves, but also like take care of the planet. Yeah. Who knows what they, why they choose to consume like that. Um, and yes, like uh, I was going to say, like uh, people who live around, but actually, like we have people who live like really far from the salon and still coming because we are properly organic, and that means something to them. Yes. So, um, yeah. It, it's well worth the journey, isn't it? And and it's not just about Agnes; it's about your team as well, isn't it? So tell yeah. us a little bit about your team. Yeah, because um, so I am the beautician, but luckily I have a hairdresser uh, because I will never be able to do what she does. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's Magali. So she's French as well. Fun fact: everyone thinks we are sister. Uh, <laughs> which is a good thing. They don't think she's my mom because she's a bit older. So we <laughs> laugh about that. No, no, only sister. Um, so she's from Brittany. She's a hairdresser since um, more than 25 years. Um, she's lovely. She's fun. She loves her job. And uh, she didn't know anything about organic uh, color before working with me. And she trained um with my supplier and she loves it i don't think she will go back to uh, normal things anymore um so that's magali and magali is part-time and i'm looking for someone else so if someone uh, look at this video i'm looking for someone else uh in hairdressing willing to uh train uh with organic product and then we have moira and moira she's my uh, little star uh, because okay. she's an, I don't know, she's absolutely amazing. She's, uh, I don't know if I know anyone else as um, knowledgeable than her mm -hmm. in terms of massage health. I mean, she's absolutely amazing. Um, maybe like that's not the type of massage you want if you want something really strong and because she's not like that, but if you want massage in terms like, um, helping your health, um, trying to achieve something through massage, mm -hmm. Moira is definitely the person to see. And uh, yes, yeah, she's still strong enough, but what I'm saying is Absolutely. like- Absolutely, I, I know when I've come off a massage table with Moira. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, so yeah, and um, I'm really happy to have her because like she's traveling from far to Absolutely. come. Absolutely twice a month uh, because she didn't want to stop uh, working, even retiring. And I love that. So I'm really, really lucky to have Moira. Yes, I, I have to endorse that because I've, I have um, used Moira. And I met her thanks to uh, Fabulous. Yes, 
Yes, we, we love yes, selecting and getting the collaborations going. And then the services you offer yourself. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Which which are the services that you offer yourself? Alors, me, I do waxing, facial, pedicure, manicure, and massage as well. But not the same type of moya. We are we are <laughs> in a different uh, uh. Yes. yes. But but again, highly recommended. And I yes, my, my feet are looking forward to seeing you very shortly. <laughs> Thank you. So um, as we approach Christmas, can you still fit people in for the Christmas appointments or? Yes, it's, it starts to be really booked up um, the two last weekend mm -hmm. um, before Christmas. So, but uh, during the week is still doable. Right. Um, so yes, if you want to book something, don't, de don't delay because I think People are waiting, and I think at the moment with the uncertainty of um, the period, I think people are waiting a bit, and uh, I think we're going to have some disappointment at some point. So uh, I think there may be. Yes, yes. So yes, you can. It's an yes. uncertain period of time, isn't it? Um, mm. And what about you? Know, are you offering vouchers and things? So if people wanted to treat their nearest and dearest. Uh, so yes, we're going to do, so you can buy gift card through my website right. uh, in your month, uh, and then people choose um, how they spend it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can do that, and we're going to do uh, some Christmas packages, when if you book like more than two services, we're going to offer you 30 minute massage. Right. Uh, so that will be something like to book that fan, pay now and use in january february right so it's just a short offer yeah. uh, to beat the january blues i guess <laughs> <laughs> i think coming to you for, in january it might be you know from the business perspective okay we draw our horns in sometimes so businesses can feel the january blues but i'm sure your clients feel them and coming to you is is so uplifting with <laughs> thank you go out with a smile on your face and it's a good chance for people to come and have a treatment that they wouldn't perhaps normally have isn't exactly it? exactly that or treat themselves just a bit more and you yeah. know like spend a bit more time for them and so we're going to do, to do something like that and also we're going to launch um a package for teenager Right, because uh, we do. I do deep cleansing, yeah. and so it can be for anyone. But for teenager with acne problem, um, is a really good facial. But when you have that kind of pro skin problem, key is regularity. Right, um, and I do know again talking about price. Uh, uh, this facial is seventy eight pound, so not cheap. No. And regularity is once a month. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to do a fair package like three facial that you will have to so for three months you have to come every month. Right. Um, and we're going to go the price down to sixty five pounds. So you will pay the package. Yes. But then like your facial will be sixty five pounds and you can come every month. And and I'm doing that for teenager to start. Right. I think like some of their facial uh, can be do as a course as well. So I think I will install that more later, but I think it can be a good gift for um, teenager who have skin problem. Like it's a good thing to- uh, Absolutely. Because yeah. Because they, it can be so sort of disempowering, can't it? If you've got an acne problem. Completely. And you know, lack of confidence and- you know, and especially at this at this age, like yes. good. that's why we have zero confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, and, and we can find so many excuses for not having confidence. Yeah, exactly, but... and just even someone telling you like, well, that's normal. You are not yes. the only one. I see a it, lot it of doesn't actually help. You know, like all. just like being like it's okay and it's gonna pass. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and and we know it probably will but that doesn't get you over it whilst you're going through it. Exactly. Oh, that sounds brilliant. So is there anything I haven't asked you about that you wanted us to know? No, uh, I think we said everything. 
I think the only thing we need to tell people is how to find you. So I know you're <laughs> on Mattock Lane by St John's Church. Um, oui. And where do they find you online when they want to? Agnesorganic.co.uk. Simple okay. as that. Instagram, Agnes Organic. Facebook, Agnes Organic. Okay, well, if I'm clever enough, I'll try and put that on the end of the video, but otherwise <laughs> I'll put it in the, in the YouTube. Agnes, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Glenda. That was lovely. Good to hear. Okay.